that was unbelievable. I just had the most epic day ever yesterday. I mean, it was just, it was insane. Insane, something I've never experienced before, ever. I set out on a brand new lake that I'd never been on before, and the whole goal was to try something new, try something different, and boy, did it ever happen. I thought I'd try to do a video on confidence and building confidence with new lures, new techniques, just trying something new to try to build my own confidence and hopefully pass that knowledge on to you guys. Two things I preach about all the time, confidence and always be willing to learn something new. The day you think you've learned everything there is to learn is the day you better get out of this game. I didn't know what the conditions were gonna be. I didn't know how the fish were gonna be reacting. I didn't know what the bait fish were gonna be doing. Man, I had no idea what I was in store for. Right from the get-go, I knew it was gonna be an absolutely amazing day. I mean, as soon as I got there and I looked in that water and I saw all those bait fish everywhere, little baby bite-sized bluegills, perfect for big hungry bass. I talked to a few of the locals and they told me that this lake is full of monster bass. Tons of bass everywhere. A perfect place for me to try some new techniques that I'd never used before. But as the day progressed and I'm trying out these things, I started seeing things that I'd never seen before. When opportunity comes knocking, you better answer that door. I figured the main forage in the lake was bluegill just by the amount of bluegill I saw at the dock. I couldn't have been more wrong. But once I figured out what was going on and what pattern to hone in on, oh man, did it turn epic. Turned out to be one of those days that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Always willing to learn, I learned something fantastic and I accomplished a feat that I've never done before. This day was amazing, it was insane, the action was unbelievable. Oh man, stay tuned folks, you're gonna love this. Ready to rock some. Oh, there's another one. There we go. There we go, run again. Oh, there we go, come on. There we go. Let's get another one, watch this. Yeah, buddy. Oh, missed it. Oh, got the game back for it. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Double up. Yeah. Tons and tons of bayfish. I mean, there are bite-sized bluegill everywhere. It's a beautiful morning out here. Ready to rock some. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. I mean, I got sawgrass, that's my name, with some pads mixed up in it. We got all sorts of other different weeds. This looks fantastic. Tossing a chatterbait. Now I've got a little bluegill chatterbait here with a copper blade, and I've got on a trailer of a Gambler Easy Swimmer in, in kind of a bluegill color too as well. We saw so many bluegills. We're gonna go with something that might mimic a bluegill a little bit more. If I had seen shad and stuff running around, then I probably would have worked like a white chatterbait a lot better uh, rather than this color. But because most of the forage that I've seen so far appears to be bluegill, we're gonna stick with a little bit darker pattern. Why? There we go. First pass, guys. We're on. Here we go. Woohoo! He's a lively one. He's a lively one. Hey, he's a nice, healthy bass. He's not huge. Not huge, but he's nice. And he just inhaled. He absolutely destroyed that chatterbait. All right, yeah. Look at that. Way to go. Awesome, awesome. Let's go get another one. I have a feeling today is gonna be an absolutely epic day. Out in front of me, directly out there, there's a ton of bait being smashed by something right there. Probably not the right lure, but let's see. Let's see what's chasing these things down. This is a huge, huge, huge school of, of shiner or something right here. I'm just gonna try and work my lure right through this school here. But, I mean, the rule is you find the bait, you find the fish. That was really crazy. It looked like there was another one out a little farther too. I've got this live target. Looks very much like a big gold wild shiner. 
Couldn't tell if those were shiners or if those were shad or what was going on here. I need to keep my eyes open. If we can see them again. Start trying to toss this thing inside there. That's that's the key. Alright. Here we go guys. We're on. Right next to the boat. There we go. Decent bass. Decent bass. Smacked my little square bill. He literally hit that right next to the boat. Oh, it just broke the treble. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Nice healthy bass. Nothing huge. Nice healthy healthy bass though. Came after that square bill. Beautiful. Just a little guy. Little little guy. Little guy. Oh, 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 hey, 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 slow down. Yeah, not a big one. But he did go out to that lipless. <laughs> little guy, just a little one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this feels, this one's better. This is a better fish. Oh, he's... Hey, get him up in there. Yeah. Okay, he's not that big. But he was definitely felt a lot better than the first one. Oh yeah, nice, fat, healthy. Onto a little bit of a pattern over here. There it is, beautiful fish. They're liking this lipless crankbait right now. Two casts, two fish in a row. This feels like a better fish, guys. I've seen those shiners again. He's just, just foul hooked a bit. He's not bad, he's not bad. I saw the, that little school of shiners, and I, as soon as I did, I cast this right into them. And sure enough, we got this guy. Ooh, yeah, he's shit all over my boat. Oh, that stinks too. Bass poop smells. I didn't know that. He just crapped all over the boat. There we go. That was kind of neat. I saw the little school of shiners or whatever on the surface, cast right into it, and he got hit right away. Look at it. He pooped all over the place down here, and it stinks. It smells. That worked out really well. Keep your eyes open. You see that little bit of commotion, that little cloud on the surface. Try to get your lure right there. <sighs> Chasing these schools, a little shad down. And you can just see the bass just all around busting everywhere. There we go. This is fun, actually. It's like cat and mouse. You can see that school right ahead of me here. If you can manage to get your lure right in there, you're guaranteed you're probably going to get a bite. There we go. We're on again. Boy. This is a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> Not giants so far, but there's a lot of them. There we go. This is so much fun. Just keep following that little school. You'll get a whole bunch of them. Still got that that bait ball right dead, dead ahead of me here. Got another school off to my right, too. All sorts of action out here. Out in the middle of the lake. It's a lot of fun. That's pretty cool. I can honestly say I've never done this before. A fish like this out in out in open water in the middle of a lake I've never been. I'm just looking for these balls of bait fish. Casting my rattle trap, my lipless crankbait right into the middle of them. Here we go. See that pot out in front of me? All that action out there. There's bass on that one. I seen some smashes. This is a huge pot here. They're everywhere out here. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go, come on. There uh, we go, that's a little better fish, I think. Woo! <laughs> this is so much fun though. Little better one? Nice, still got the pod right next to me too. Look at them all out there. This is crazy, guys. Crazy! These bait balls, as I look around, they're everywhere here. Another one right behind me there. Big one out there. Big, big one over here. You gotta watch because they kind of just pop up out of nowhere too. Yet another one. Look at that. There 
we go. Oh, that's a better one. Yeah. Healthy, healthy. Look how fat these things are from eating all these, all these shad or whatever it is they're chasing. I barely, barely got this guy. Nice. Nice. This is so much fun. I think there's school still right there, too. Oh, it is, too. Let's get another one. Watch this. There it is. Ah. Yeah, buddy. Ah, so much fun. <laughs> it's just one after the next. Barely hooked them, but hooked them well. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Sorry that took so long. I lost the school now. They're right there again, and they're getting busted on now. Oh, man. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We're into it. Yeah, buddy. Look at them all. They're busting everywhere here. And one, two, three. And... Oh, I missed him. Oh, got him. He came back for it. Ah, better fit. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's a double up. <laughs> double up. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> I got two on one lure. I'm like, that's a better fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yes. Fishing for schooling bass. This is insane, guys. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. Let's get this guy out first. There. One. There we go. And two. Awesome. Two fish, one cast. Awesome. <laughs> That's so much fun. Here comes the school of them again. That was awesome. Yeah, honestly, that, I've seen that happen before. That is the first time that's ever happened for me. First time I've ever got two fish on one on one cast. That it's just so crazy, so crazy. Good one. Oh, look at this little guy. Okay, you can go away. We don't need you. You were too small. Find the bait. Find the bass. This is a giant school over there. Wow. There's a big cloud of stuff coming my way over here. And I got this one in front of me here, too. This is just nuts. This is just nuts. They're both coming my way. We're about to get... I think we might just get crazy here in a minute, guys. Things might just get crazy. Oh, yeah. Now they're starting to bust on them. Here we go. We're going to get us another one. <laughs> this is just so much fun. There's so many of them. What is that? I don't even know. 20 something? Oh, they're right next to me here. Let's get some more. Let's get another one. Oh, no. There's so many of them out across the lake. It, it like almost looks like they're solid masses, you know, like icebergs or something. I mean, look at the size of that displacement area. Huge ball of bait. Yeah, yeah, they're getting busted on right in front of me. It's kind of like hunting. That pack is moving, hauling ass. Catching up. Here we go, here we go, guys, here we go. And there's a the bass. Oh, a real tiny one. Oop. These little ones keep getting away real quick. Can't be chasing fish around the lake all day. I'm gonna run out of battery for sure. But there's a big group over here that I've seen lots of splashes on. That one had lots of splashes on it, but then there's a big one coming right at me too. Which one do I go for? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go guys, watch this. Definitely gonna be a fish in here. Oh, I missed him. That other big group is right in front of me now too. Oh no. It took a turn, came right at me. These two groups are about to converge. This is, oh, this is gonna be insane guys. Oh, there's another big one coming right at me, too. Ha <laughs> ha, they're everywhere out here. There he is. I knew there was a fish in there. Real little one. And another one. Chase this big group down. I keep meaning to go for this one and then keep getting distracted by yet another one. There's another one coming right at me. 
This is just insane, guys. I've never seen anything like this. This has got to be one of the healthiest lakes I've ever seen. One, two, three, four. There's like 10 of them everywhere. This is just nuts. Look at the size of this group in front of me, guys. This is just huge. There's so, oh, here we go. Gotta be a big fish on there. There's fish are blowing up too. There he is, there he is. Another little, little guy. Oh, geez, he's strong though. There you go. Where'd the group go? Where did that group go? Look at the right here. Oh, I missed that one. Another hit though. Oh, there, oh, oh, just get it. There you go. Oh, <laughs> he must have hit that thing like six times. Whew. Insane action. Insane action. That's a big group. Two big groups. There's one here. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. That's a little better. That's a decent one. Ooh, yeah. Decent fish. Nice. Guys, this has just been unbelievable. What a day. Set out here to try something new. To try to gain some confidence, just try something new. And what did I do? I found something absolutely amazing. I have never chased bait balls like this before for schooling bass. Unbelievable. Can't get over how amazing that this is. And I, and I got two fish on one bait. That's cool. Two fish on one bait. I've never done that. It's a day of firsts. This is what it is. A day of firsts. Another nice group sitting out in front of me here. There we go, guys. Oh, damn it. Got hit, but didn't get them. I hate it when they come in close at me like this. There. <laughs> Such a little guy set the hook so hard he flew out of the water. Big, fast moving group right over here. Let's chase them down. Oh man, right away! Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is this is just too much fun. Too much fun. Pretty sure I'm starting to run out of battery here, guys. I've been chasing these bait fish in schools of bass all day. I can't believe my batteries lasted this long, to be honest. Oh, definitely. I'm on full speed and I don't have half as much power as I used to. We'll give it one more cast on this grouping here. Then we're gonna have to limp our way home. Unbelievable. What an incredible day. One of these days that, you know what, I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. One last kick at the cat here. Big group in front of me here. It's just group after group after group. There's another big one over there. Two more over that way, another one that way. This is just, this is insane, guys. Gotta be a bass on this group. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> we got another one. Woo Decent bass, too. That's an excellent way to call it a day. Right there. Awesome. Awesome fish. Look at that, guys. Whoa. So, one more beautiful bass here. Guys, this has been an unbelievable day. A day I'm never for gonna forget. Man, if you ever get the chance, then you find out the bat, the, the bait fish are schooling, the shatter schooling, the shiners, whatever it is, get out there and chase them down. Start throwing a lipless crankbait into those groups. Man, you are going to have a blast. I had so much fun today, guys. I really hope you did enjoy this. I hope you learned a little something. And if you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else you'd like to see me film. And I'll do my very best to make a video out of each and every one of those. But most importantly, guys, subscribe to that channel. And if you're already subscribed, well, stay subscribed because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. 
One last time, guys, from beautiful North Florida. Jason School is setting new records. It's Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.